bug is a love story um, and it's about two people who find a, um, an environment together that allows them to I suppose live out their delusions and their fantasies. A young woman who's living uh, a quite hermitized and isolated life in a motel and um, we find her in 1996, mid-90s and she is quite a sad individual, she's a drug addict and um, as I say is very lonely and uh, a man enters her life, is introduced to her through a friend. Peter, played by James Norton, um, comes with a, a medical condition and Agnes, who I play, I suppose has a, a more an, an emotional condition that he feeds and um, her loneliness and her loss. The world in which they live in and, and the society and the pressures and the paranoia and the fear which they both share um, makes that love story uh, p potentially quite warped and, and ultimately tragic. Because it's a different accent, it's quite a strong accent. It feels, it hasn't felt unlike London Road, strangely, just in the, the technique of that kind of visceral language and also just that Midwest attitude towards language. You, one thinks there's a kind of drawl to it and they're very slow and back foot, but they're not. It's very on the nose. They know what they want to say and they say it quite quickly. So this space is so claustrophobic. You know, we've got um, about 130 people sitting right in the room with us. And the play itself requires that. It's this kind of pressure cooker environment. It all happens in this one room. So there's nowhere to hide. Don't let strangers into your motel room. <laughs> Yeah, it should feel like, uh, I mean, it is a thriller. And I think, I was learning some lines with a friend the other day, and she said, is this, is this true? Is it, is it, did this actually, can this happen? I think, because there's, there's a lot about conspiracy theories, um, and the power of those, the power of inventing narratives to stop yourself from feeling frightened about the truth. And um, so hopefully it'll have that kind of edgy, tight feeling and make people feel that they won't want to leave the room, mm -hmm. even though what's in the room is quite scary. Yeah, I think Tracy's writing speaks for itself. August Osage County, you know, Killer Joe, these plays are big, seminal pieces. Bug is one of these early ones which set him off and put him on a map. Um, and it's as powerful and as hard a punch as all his other stuff. So, um, you know, if you haven't experienced Bug yet, you definitely come.